lot of people get confused as from where to get OpenAI's API key. The truth is that OpenAI hasn't helped in making this clearer and easier to follow. Now in very very simple words, if you are looking for just OpenAI's API key, you need to go to platform.openai.com. If you are looking to chat with ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT3.5, then go to chat.openai.com. These are two completely different websites. If you have paid for chat.openai.com for your ChatGPT Plus account, that doesn't mean that you get also the API key for which you can use. If you want to use OpenAI's API key, then you need to buy it at platform.openai.com. In order to access ChatGPT Plus without any API key, go to chat.openai.com and open your ChatGPT Plus account which costs around $20 US per month. For the platform.openai.com, you need to go and then sign up with your email account, put your credit card in and then you will get access to OpenAI's API key. And you can put in minimum balance of $10 or you could go upwards too. And once your balance is finished, then you need to top it up. So that is what the difference is between uh, platform.openai.com and chat.openai.com. These are two completely different things. I was surprised to see the number of questions I got around this. So I just thought of making this video. Now, having said that, let me quickly take you as how you can primarily get your OpenAI's API key. And as I mentioned, you need to first go to platform.openai.com, sign up there with your email account. And then once your account is created, then you need to go to uh, settings in the left hand side, click on settings, then wait for it to load. And from here, you can see that this tells you that, uh, for example, for me, this is my own account, that this is my personal account, this is my org ID, and then there are a few other information which um, I have kept hidden. And then this is my dashboard, which is visible to everyone. Now, in order to get your API key again on the left, you see that this is API key and let me, yeah, so this is my API key here. Uh, just below fine tuning, click on this. And then you can see this is my Fahad key and then this is my secret key. I have hidden it. Initially, you might not have any key. So just click on create new secret key. Just give it any name and you will, uh, for example, I'll just say my test key and then create secret key. And this is my secret key. And it, you need to copy it from here or by clicking this copy button. Otherwise, if you don't do it and click on done, the key is gone. You don't see it again. So you need to uh, recreate the key. So I don't need it. So I'll just create, click on this uh, revoke key button. That's it. So this is how you get your OpenAI's API key. So let me move this thing up it so that you could see. So I'll just go again here. And this is where I have clicked on API key. So this is how you get your OpenAI's API key. Now, if you are just looking to chat with ChatGPT4, then you need to obviously go to this uh, chat.openai.com. And from there, you see that uh, in the middle, I have already selected ChatGPT4, or you could go with ChatGPT 3.5. And similarly, you can, um, you will get your profile there. And if you want to upgrade, you can go to ChatGPT Plus and talk with it. So this is the difference between ChatGPT and OpenAI's platform. I hope that this was useful. There are a lot of other uh, differences too, but these are the main ones which I wanted to discuss in this video. So just to summarize, if you're looking to get OpenAI's API key, you need to go to platform.openai.com. That's it guys. I hope it was useful. If you still have any confusion or any issues, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.